<laughs> well, you kind of know the drill, I guess. <laughs> well, I just heard it. <laughs> um, my, yeah, go ahead and just your name. My name is Maureen Hansen. I'm a semi-retired teacher from San Jose. And uh, what's your OLPC connection? I first got involved uh, with Project Mindstorm in Gardner School, uh, Seymour Papert. You know, right after he wrote Mindstorms, he had a school in Boston, and he chose a West Coast school, which was in San Jose, California, which was Gardner. And I was hired to teach the teachers uh, the computers and the programming, because I had done logo programming with California Math Project at that time. And so I started teaching the teachers that year. The next year they needed someone as their computer resource teacher, so I went to Gardner and worked. And uh, it was very exciting. All the teachers were involved. The Tech Museum supported it. We went to MIT three different summers uh, did, and did, did a month workshop there, worked with Papert. And, ne and that's when they were first starting talking about this, you know. It, Simon, uh, you know, Seymour would say, "We're going to have uh, every kid out in the out in the bushlands able to to compute," and then Nicholas Negroponte kind of took the idea. So, so like I was on the ground floor of of them thinking about it, and so I followed it all along. While I was still had my career, I just kept saying, "Well, as soon as I retire, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go go do this." So I retired a year ago, and so I'm ready to get involved. Um, I taught fourth and fifth grade, and then I ran a computer lab for a lot of years. And actually, Project Mindstorm, we had four different computer labs, and kids used it every day and were learning logo and logo writer. And so, so the turtle art is just, of course, right up my alley. Uh, anyway, so I'm real excited. I think this is a vibrant, interesting community. I've loved the conference, and I see a lot of places, you know, I'm real interested in curriculum development. So I see a lot of places that I'd like to try to slide in and do something. So that's it. Uh, are you thinking in some deployment especially? Well, a couple of my friends, we, we applied. One of my friends, uh, who's here also from San Jose, uh, knows somebody who's going to go to Honduras. I mean, I, I'm bilingual as, you know, I taught in a bilingual school. So we were looking in C Central America or South America because of the language, you know. and. Uh, so he had two slots. So two of them have accepted to go to Honduras, and and uh, so so far I'm not on the Honduras trip. So uh, you know, uh, so I'm just kind of looking around and seeing if there's others. But yeah, I'd be. Uh, and then we thought, well, maybe you know, there's there's actually even underserved populations here, here, you know, in, in the valley and places. And so we're, we're just going to try to get. get handful of people together and bat around what we could do and then maybe we submit a project. Okay. You want to go with another? Uh, no, I think so. Um, <laughs> okay. Why not, why not Mexico? Because it's... Oh, Mexico. Close. Well, Mexico, I, I guess people are just kind of afraid because of the cartel and the fighting and stuff going on there. Okay. I mean, you know, uh, Mexico would be fine with me too, and, and so actually close. a lot of my friends, you know, are from Mexico, uh, a lot of the teachers that, that we've had at our school, you know, from there, but uh, kind of like right now they're, they're concerned about what's happening in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then what piece of wisdom would you like to pass on to... Uh Ah, uh, a piece of wisdom. Um, I, I just think learning is exciting and, and you keep doing it your whole life and, and I think making it available to people in the world that are, uh, haven't had it given to them is just, just an incredible th thing to do. I think we all have to have a legacy. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.